So let's build some stuff. Right, wire this into the same power grid as the beam emitter. Now I tried wiring the beam emitter in and it didn't do anything. Okay, console. Attach a wire. Right, so that's wired in. But this one I don't seem to be able to wire in. So perhaps... Okay, this requires 20 and needs to go there. And this requires 5 and can go there. So if we... Hang on, no, no, space. Attach wire. It says there. Right. Right, so that's got power and that's got power. But this thing requires 20 power, so we're going to have to build more generators. So build a big generator there, and a big generator there, and then wire that one to that one, and that one to that one. And there we have it. No, 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 no. Escape. So, is there anything else that needs doing? Power up signal interceptor. I think we have powered up the signal interceptor, haven't we? Oh no, that's doing the whole thing, I think. Right. Is that not making enough power for that? How much power does this thing need? Uh, okay, I think we need to build another generator, by the looks of it. No. Generators. Attach a wire from that one to that one. Don't get this. Okay. So that's big thing in the middle's all powered up. All right. Let's move this to here. In fact, let's. Store that and store that. So those two aren't powered up. Then we will check it out. But it still says power them up. Alright. So. Hold the 
get that up. Build that there. Put a wire from there to there. It says it only requires two, it's got ten. That requires five. Okay. Build that there. Store that. Attach a wire from there to there. So that's done. And attach a wire from there to there. So that's done. So they're both powered up. No. Right. So now what do I do? Do they need attaching to something else? Do they need attaching to this? Uh huh. Okay, let's give that a try. Nope. Requires 20 power. Attach a wire to that. And attach a wire to that. Okay. So they don't need that. No, they do need that. Right, so they need connecting to the main thing, and they need their own power source. There. Everything <sighs> looks good on my end. You ready to see if this thing actually works? Um. Let's go put the power armor on. Might be a better idea first. And uh, have a quick. Have a quick nom nom. Right, so do we build. Do we rebuild that one? Or do we... Right. So this one needs a... Let's try that and that. And... Let's try the helmet from that one. Is it the right arm or the left arm? Can't remember. One of the arms. It's the right arm. Uh, so we'll go into crafting and we'll see which one's best. 120, 50, 150. 120, 80, 150. So the helmet's better. Um, so we should equip the helmet. And... Seventy twenty five one fifty seventy fifty one fifty. So we should equip that. That's the best armor we've got because we've only got a T sixty left arm. Right. So if we exit that. Put the radar stuff back on this.
What? Nope. Press Q by mistake. And we put the left arm back on that. And right, make sure all this is repaired. Right, so that's all repair. Uh, what mods can we do? Do a Mark Three mod on that. It's also, we can do a Mark Two mod on that. Right leg. Can't do any mods on that. But. What about the helmet? Can't do any mods on that. No, oh, we can do minimum paint. We've already got that on there. I don't think we can do minimum paint on these ones. No. So exit that. Get into the armour and then we'll go. We'll go over and uh, see what's what with this wonderful new crazy device we've built over here. Okay. okay Sturgis. Everything looks good on my end. You ready to see if this thing actually works? Yep. Let's do this. You sure? Okay. Your part is simple. Just step onto the platform. I'll start scanning for an institute signal to lock onto. Then I fire her up and we see what happens. What Just can possibly go platform. wrong? Do the rest. Okay. Okay. Hold real still. So we're off of the molecular beam. to a brave yeah, new world. Way, I figured this was a golden opportunity to find out as much as we can about the Institute, what they're up to. Yeah, if this holotape's all set with a program that will scan their network and download anything it finds. Uh oh. Uh, yeah, we better hurry. And don't worry about that tubing wiggling around. It's uh just there for decoration. Okay. okay. Scanning for the institute signal. Tracking RF. And got it. Hold on to your butt. Let's go. Whoom. Whoa, we did it. We are here, in the Institute, and we've got to insert our little thing. Ooh, so they know we're here. Yeah. Uh, network scanner, initiate network scan, okay, so we've done that, uh, oh, we can't eject it. We better eject it. Right. Uh, now what? Uh, 
Right, we'd better find the stuff for Virgil as well. Right, so... Inside job is give that. Uh, uh, uh. Okay, so we're supposed to go. Are we supposed to go back now? I wondered if you might make it here. You're quite resourceful. I'm known as Palmer. The Institute is under my guidance. I know mm. why you're here. I'd like to discuss things with you face to face. Please, step into the elevator. Okay, well... I guess... It's just me, not even me and my dog. I can only imagine what you've heard, what you think of us. I'd like to show you that you may have the wrong impression. Really? Welcome to the Institute. So I have the wrong impression of the people that kidnapped my son. This place, these people, the work we do. For over a hundred years we've dedicated ourselves to humanity's survival. Decades of research, countless experiments and trials, a shared vision of how science can help shape the future. It has never been easy. And our actions are often misinterpreted by those above <laughs> ground. Yeah. Someday, perhaps, we can show them what we've accomplished. Kellogg but isn't now, really a misinterpretation. Underground. There's too much at stake here to risk it all. As you've seen, things above are... unstable. No shit. I'd like to talk to you about what we can do for everyone. But that can wait. You are here for a specific, very personal reason. Yes. You are here for your son. It's all very nice stuff. Can't pick this. Only opens with a key. Uh huh. Sean. Huh? Yes, I'm Sean. Oh, you're dead. Sean, it's me. I'm Your father in a big suit of power armor. Father, what's going on? What's happening? Sean, are you okay? You're not hurt, are you? What's going on? Father? Father! Sean, open the door. I don't know you. Go away. Father! Father, help me! There's someone here! Help me! Who is Father? Where is he? Father? Father, help me! He's trying to take me! Father? Father, help me! You scumbag! Sean. S923, recall code Cirrus. Fascinating, but disappointing. The child's responses were not at all what I anticipated. He's a prototype, you understand. 
We're only just now beginning to explore the effects of extreme emotional stimuli. It's Please try and keep an open mind. I recognize that you are emotional and that your journey here has been fraught with challenges. You're about to get a bullet in your head, mate. I am Father. Welcome to the Institute. Give me Sean. The real Sean. Right now! I know. I know. You've gone to such lengths to find him. I want answers, asshole. Now. Under the circumstances, I will forgive your vulgarity. But I need you to will? realize that this oh, thank you very much. situation is far more complicated than you could have imagined. No, you it's not. Traveled very far oh, well, let me shoot him. And suffered a great deal to find your son. Bugger. Well, your tenacity and dedication have been rewarded. It's good to finally meet you. After all this time. Oh, phones are against me. I... God damn. I am sure. I am. Your son. Uh, how? Is that even possible? I know this is a lot to take in. In the vault, you had no concept of the passage of time. But you were really. Wasn't Kellogg running around with Sean? Searching for the son you'd lost. But then you learned that your son was no longer an infant, but a ten-year-old boy. You believe that ten years had passed. Is it really so hard to accept that it was not ten, but sixty years? That is the reality, and here I am. Right. So Sean is now... ...by the Institute, and now its leader. To you, that would certainly seem true, but to the Institute, it made all the sense in the world. At that time, the year 2227, the Institute had made great strides in synth production, but it was never enough. Scientific curiosity and the goal of perfection drove... I don't understand the whole synth thing. What they wanted was the perfect machine, so they followed the best example thus far. The human being, walking, talking, fully articulate, capable of anything. This makes no sense. Human, human sy synths. Really? Human-like synths. A great distinction. The Institute endeavored to create synthetic organics. The most logical starting point, of course, was human DNA. Plenty he may be my son, but I still want to put a bullet in his head. But it had all become corrupted. In this wasteland, radiation affected everyone. Even in their attempts to shield themselves from the world above, members of the Institute had been exposed. Another source was necessary. But then the Institute found me after discovering records from Vault 111. An infant. Frozen in time, protected from the radiation-induced mutations that had crept into every other human cell in the Commonwealth. I was exactly what they needed. And so it was... What about everybody else who was frozen? ...that became the basis of the synthetic organics used to create every human-like synth you see today. I am their father. Through science, we are family. No, we're not. And you. I don't believe you. No, I don't. There's no way any of this is true. I wish there was something to say. I know this isn't what you wanted. But it's the only truth I can offer you. Why are you doing this to me? After everything I've been through. 
I don't mean any of this to hurt you. No, I thought it was going to mean, why are you building all these humans since? I'm trying to help you. Help us. I've shown you my trust. Your weapons haven't been confiscated, and I stand unarmed before you. Please, let's just talk. If okay. This is true, where do we start? I know you must have questions. Please, anything I can do to help you understand. Well, uh... Yeah. Kellogg. For you. Kellogg. He walked around murdering people. Long before I arrived here. It wasn't until I became director that I learned of all the things he'd done. What kind of man he was. Yeah, but you, you still use him. Was a psychopath, but you used him anyway. <laughs> I don't expect you to understand or agree with the decision. Damn. The Institute took advantage of Kellogg's vicious nature. Should have been wearing me normal I gear. I really admit that. Institute technology prolonged his life and his usefulness far beyond any normal human lifespan. He never failed the Institute, but his cruelty became more... Well, he killed your mum. completed objective. I won't lie. It's no coincidence your path crossed his. It seemed a fitting way to allow you, us, to have some amount of revenge. What else can I say to ease your mind? Uh, yeah, your mother. She never got to see you grow up. Yes. What happened to her was, I've gone over the records of the incident, of course. It seems her death was an unfortunate bit of collateral damage. Collateral damage? Collateral damage? She was murdered. Killed? Yes. Murdered. Uh, I'm not so sure about that. Yeah, they woke her up and yes. shot her in the head. <laughs> I do regret never having known her. For many years, I never questioned who my parents were. I accepted my situation... And that was that. With old age comes regret. Oof, almost shot him, man. And asking what if more often. But what matters now is that you and I have a chance. No, it doesn't. To begin again. It really doesn't, because you What else can I say to ease your mind? So you're in charge of the Institute? I am the acting director, yes. I spent decades working to reach this point. It's a responsibility I take very seriously. The Institute. I don't understand why they would have synthetics rather than humans. It really is humanity's best hope for the future. No matter what those above ground might think of us. Uh... People are always frightened by what they don't understand. Ultimately, the Commonwealth has nothing to fear from us. Whatever you've seen or heard... Apart from the abductions and the synths running around and all that crap. Give me time. I know there's more for us to discuss. But the Institute is on the verge of some important breakthroughs. Your presence would be appreciated as we approach them. I've been a part of something amazing here. I've helped to build a life for myself and the people of the Institute. And now, after all these years, you have an opportunity to help with that. No. Doesn't that intrigue you? No, Isn't it really doesn't. You want? No. I won't be a part of this. I can't. Why? Because you're because monsters. Because the reputation of the Institute. The Institute can provide a better life than anything. You've been in the Commonwealth. You've seen what it's like. I assure you that you are better off with us. I disagree. The Institute has done some horrible things. Yes, well, the world is not what it used to be. What about the people you've aided in order to get here? 
What atrocities have they committed? This railroad. Willing to sacrifice humans for the sake of sins. Think about that for a moment. Would you kill your fellow man to save a Nuka Cola machine? They have completely disconnected from reality. You make the None sense, you idiot. Who claim to nobility in this world? Those days are gone. But we are not the monsters we have been cast as. I simply ask that you give the Institute, me, a chance. A chance to show you what I've been telling you. Do you we really do have humanity's best interest at heart. Will you take that chance? Do we give him a chance or not? All right. Okay. I'm just going to toss for it. No, we don't. I'm sorry. I can't do that. I'm sorry to hear that. I had certainly hoped we could work together. It came down tails. But every man must make his own decisions. And the Institute are if pretty... If you choose to leave, I cannot force you to stay. Understand, though, that I cannot allow you to remain within the Institute. You may have safe passage back to the relay where you... Uh -huh. I'm sorry. I must think first of the safety of the Institute. And in the cruel world that has developed, those who are not with us are against us. The elevator will return you to the relay. I don't think so. I think we can um, do what the hell we like because we're wearing power armor. Right, I need to find a Sean's terminal password. Right. So he's a cy Kellogg was a cyborg. All right, fair enough. A child synth project under quarterly review. Director Zimmer still offline. Above ground operative terminated. Retention problem functionality. Phase three behind schedule. Hmm. I've told Kellogg has got a fly aid. Okay. I can't shut down those. Load a holotape into this. What happens if I put the network scanner in here? Hmm. Nothing it would seem. Medical stuff. That looks like a safe, but isn't. That requires a key. Yeah, 
shower. And proper toilets. Oh, they've got proper toilets and showers. Okay, so it looks like I can't go anywhere because the doors are locked, so I am going to have to leave. Oh no, go down here. Doo -doo -doo. Right, well, yeah, looks like I'm going to have to leave. Oh, I can shoot him first. Don't have the key. I thought he would have uh, Busted. a key on him, but he doesn't. Right, if I go up to this next level, maybe I can find a way out here. Scanning. Subject identified. Excuse me. Operating at full capacity. Scanning unknown identity. Why can't they shoot these guys? Hmm. Well, I've just killed your boss, but I can't um, kill them. Hmm. I don't think that was Sean. I think it's the Institute playing games again and basically Okay, well we've got reporting status. All functions normal. Hmm, there's nothing around here we can actually do I don't think other than just raid their med supplies but I guess we just have to leave and see what we can sort out with Sean not Sean, the other bloke 